everyone having discussions about the coral. Uh, we're going to be looking at the live stuff. We've got uh, host Steve Liebman and we've got heaps of guests coming in. So it's this massive Google Hangout. Reef Live is a 12-hour live event where we'll be underwater on the Great Barrier Reef, streaming out through the internet, talking to people all around the world. It's kind of like an interactive TV show. So we'll have a team in the ocean and there'll be a whole studio team based at James Cook University. And as people ask questions, we can throw over amazing graphics to demonstrate what's happening. Uh, so it's sort of taking interactive TV to the next level. The challenges for the dive team is obviously it's going to be a lot of time spent in the water. Uh, we've got to limit our depth so we're not going too deep. But the good news is the best parts of the barrier reef are actually up in the shallows. And the particular reef that we've selected, it's a small bommy, a small head of coral, but everything is there. The beautiful fish, the big predators, and even some of the venomous animals like stonefish. So it's a very concentrated hotspot of life and it'll give people a taste for the entire ecosystem that exists out there. The Great Barrier Reef is still the best coral reef in the world and the best managed coral reef in the world, but there are problems. And one of the biggest problems we face is an uncertain future through climate change. Now that's a problem that we have to handle from outside Australia. It's an issue for the entire world. Her sitting in the orange shirt. Yeah, today's a very significant day, uh, linking in with uh, World Oceans Day. Um, it highlights what the reef is all about. We actually attract over a million visitors a year to the reef, but of course uh, there's hundreds of millions and billions of people around the world that haven't uh, seen the reef and hopefully this is a way of bringing the reef into the living room and giving people a bit of an understanding and experience and hopefully a real appetite to, to come and visit, but certainly a sense of understanding that our Great Barrier Reef is well nurtured, it's cherished and uh, that we love it uh, and it's a really important uh, asset to, to our economy as well. I think the, uh, the operators actually highlight their passion and their depth of understanding of the reef. I think what we've seen is people who are expert in the field, uh, marine biologists to operators, operators that have been here for 30 to 40 years that know the reef intimately. They've been to various locations on a regular basis, know exactly the changes that may have occurred and really see the reef as, uh, as it was 40 years ago. as a very pristine, magnificent uh, reef, great attraction, great experience, exhilarating uh, opportunity to see uh, marine wildlife at its best. And thank you for joining us. And as the man said, welcome to Reef Live. From Queensland, Australia, I'm Steve Liebman. We're referring to Richard yep. and the dive team on the outer reef, but what about the inner reef? Yeah. Australia sits on the continental shelf. So between the...
is all these underwater cameras that we've got in all the tanks. And we've got this big project running where school kids can log in and take control of those cameras. And by taking control of the cameras, they can then set up beautiful little projects to do things like how often does Nino breathe? How many eggs do they produce? How long do they start to hatch? So what we're trying to do, much like what Richard Vivas was saying earlier, is bringing this reef to the school kids. You can do things that you've never, ever done before here on the, on the web. And that's one of the things that we're just trying to do at the moment. Look, grassroots education is key to the future health of the Great Barrier Reef. These young people are tomorrow's decision makers. So we are all working today for a healthier reef tomorrow. How important do you see the reef is um, in, in terms of its sustainability, its sustainability and its long-term future? Well, I think that it's longer future. Um, I'd like to say it's in good hands. Uh, I know that the Australians have been incredible innovators in their conservation strategy for the Great Barrier Reef. I think that it is incredibly important to our planet. I think, look, for the, for the people who are tuning into this broadcast and, and listening to us right now, I mean, put it like this. Uh, if you were thinking of the Amazon jungle and you were saying, you know, how important is that to the planet? Well, there are more species of fish in the Great Barrier Reef than there are bird species in the Amazon jungle. It's World Oceans Day and what we're actually doing is celebrating the Great Barrier Reef. And through technology and speaking with lots of uh, fantastic and very educated people, uh, not only here um, in Cairns but all around the world, we're getting a real appreciation of what the Great Barrier Reef has to offer and how important it is to protect. This is a world first, broadcasting for 12 hours and sitting in the hot seat's good fun. Um, yeah, anything can happen. <laughs> uh, Reef Live is a fantastic and unique opportunity, I think, for the, uh, the entire world to come and have a look at the Great Barrier Reef where we're sharing, I guess, uh, what we consider to be our favourite icon. But in terms of the world, we are looking at one of the, the natural wonders of the world. And with the technology, we're able to speak to scientists, we're able to speak to divers out on the reef, uh, receive questions from all over the globe, and really share how wonderful this place is. I think the Reef Live uh, broadcast is showcasing the reef in a fantastic light. Uh, what we're seeing is divers out there at the very uh, same time that we're sitting here talking to them. We're able to see the animals move around. We're able to get a real appreciation of what it's like to be on the reef. And I think being able to share that with the rest of the world is fantastic.